Hi, this is Mark Kemper with EMS. In today's video, we are going to 3D scan this automotive seat frame you see here because it's a real challenging part to try to target and 3D scan. And we're going to do it with a Creaform Handy Scan scanner and kind of show you some tips and techniques to do it. Okay, so when we take a look at this automotive uh, seat frame here, um, the real challenge is it's basically tubular. And whether it's like a race car chassis or maybe some automation equipment where you have things that are kind of uh, thin, uh, in this case they're round, and they're kind of like spread apart. The challenge becomes basically moving around because as you know with this scanner, uh, the Handy Scan series and a lot of scanners, you have to see targets. and trying to put targets on you know really thin areas here or even putting them on round surfaces what happens is when you put a target on a round surface you know it's no longer flat and that's a very specific diameter of six millimeters it's looking for that and when you put it on something curved you're actually kind of throwing it off the scanner doesn't now see it as a a, a, a six mil a, a six millimeter you know a circle or, or diameter so um it it presents some real challenges and one of the biggest ones is moving around Think of, a, again, a big you know, race car chassis, all tubular. It's a real challenge. You can't just put the targets on the tube and effectively move along. Also, when you just have targets kind of along a linear path and they're not real spread out in, in both uh, uh, 2D and 3D, the, the scanner can get messed up. The accuracy starts to get lost. It's just a real challenge. So we're going to use a few different things here to, to, uh, to do this and hopefully do it faster and more effectively. Um, first one is uh, we'll use our rotary table in this case because it's a small part. We can take advantage of that. Um, secondly, we'll use some of the triangles. You've, you've seen these uh, in other videos. Uh, and if you haven't, go watch our tips, tricks, and techniques video on, on using the uh, 3D scanners. So we'll throw a few of these in here. Uh, we'll, of course, use normal targets, uh, creoform type targets where we can. And then we're going to also use a new product that we've developed called speed target and we'll get we'll get more into that okay so the first thing is is i'll put some artifacts out here um, this just helps us go up vertically this is also going to help maybe when i'm trying to come around the back side just give us a little a little more to see nothing uh, uh, new there and then we will target up you know so I, i'll go ahead and throw targets on this part in the flat areas uh where i can and then i'll come back and we'll talk about the speed target system so i'll do that now um, nothing you know uh, new here I'll go ahead and get that targeted up and then we'll talk about the next step okay so I have put uh, standard uh, creoform targets on all the flats uh, where I feel I need them and by the way I don't know you may not know this but these targets come in different adhesives there's a, a light adhesive that's great for very smooth things like uh, you know an autumn a, a vehicle or uh, a boat hole like fiberglass smooth things that are fairly clean but there's also um, a heavier adhesive that you can get which is great for like oily parts machine parts this part obviously is rusty um, so just that's one thing there's also magnetic targets which would work on something like this so you do have different uh, choices in this standard uh, creoform uh, targets but what, what is speed target? So this is something, it's a patent pending product that we have developed, and it's very specific for doing large stuff, you know, large vehicles, boats, big fiberglass, big machine parts, things like that, and also something like this, where we've got these big voids, and we need to fill them in somehow. And what it is, it's, it's an adhesive tape, uh, but it's clear. There's a backing on here, which I'm going to take off. And you can see we've got targets every roughly three inches uh, on here. So uh, what's nice about this is it goes on and comes off extremely fast. If you're doing something large, 
Uh, you can literally save hours using this. So how I'm going to use it on this part is I'm going to basically stretch it across some of these open voids. So we've got, you know, otherwise if I try to scan this whole area up in here, it's really going to struggle. Now I could try to again put them on the round areas which I've avoided, but we're going to have accuracy issues and it's going to get lost because I've already tried it. It's a, and again, think of the race car, you know, tube chassis or something which is much larger or a big piece of automation equipment you've got these big gaps or openings that you need to move from here to here because you want to keep everything you know, in, a, in a relationship and it's just hard to do. So what you do, you basically, I'm going to peel this out. Um, we'll, go, we'll go a little bit longer, I'll show you why. And this is a very durable, um, like mylar type material. So it's very strong and you know, I'm going to peel off the, uh, the backing here, okay. And I'm going to put it in some key spots, okay? And I'm going to wrap it around and kind of tape it to itself. The adhesive on here is pretty strong, but this will just kind of ensure us that it stays like that, okay? So you see what I've done, okay? And the reason why it's clear is because uh, if you were putting this on the surface of like a vehicle, the scanner will literally scan right through it. Now, you could do this with masking tape, painter's tape, other types of tape, but those tend to be thicker. And of course the scanner is gonna scan it and you end up with this big kind of ridge in your scan data. With speed target, it's, it's clear. So the scanner kind of sees through it. And uh, like you see here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a, a, a couple more. So again, just peel off the, the distance you want and cut it. And again, because it's very, uh, very, very strong um, you're not going to rip this with your with your hand, okay? And you can reuse this if it doesn't get too dirty, and you've kind of got a spot you can keep it, so to speak. You know, you can reuse it. Obviously, the uh, uh, you know as the adhesive gets dirty or worn out, it's you know it's not going to work, okay? And let's do maybe one more down here, and that should be good. Okay, that should be pretty good. That should give us enough here in the middle. I've got plenty down here on the floor, so I don't have to worry about that with the table. And let's try this and see how it goes. Okay, so now we are ready to scan. We've got our uh, speed target tape, we've got normal targets, and then we've got the, uh, uh, the little triangles, and then of course the rotary table. So now it's business as usual. Uh, we tell it we want to start scanning, and we just pull the trigger. I'll go ahead and start down here. And you could pre-scan the targets if you want, but watch now when I move up here, you can see I can easily move across the whole part and, and pick, up, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, pick up the scan data. Now, there's still some foam left on this, uh, on this frame, so you're going to see some areas that look pretty rough. That's just the, uh, the seat foam. Um, this was an old seat we'd taken apart. But you can see with these targets, it picks it up. Now, it is picking up the tape a little bit in spots because um, it's not on a surface. Normally, it would scan through it, plus it's kind of doubled and tripled in some spots. Uh, but if you look where it's actually mounted on the frame, it doesn't even see the, the target tape. So, but again, you get the idea here. We can move around quickly. We can scan. Let's go to the back. So to get to the back, let's do this. Let's kind of get all these targets. And then I'll come over here and kind of scan through. And then same thing, we can move right up the back and scan this part. So you can see there's pretty much nowhere I can't get. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time scanning it uh, live. I'll go ahead and, and scan it up and we'll take a look at the scan data here when we're done. But again, the, the point is, can I move all around through the part? And by having these, let's call them paths, with the speed target tape, you can see I can move back and forth. So in this case, we're just really using it to fill these gaps. We'll put targets on the part where it makes sense, but then in those stretches where we've got big openings um, or just you know really thin geometry that we you know this little 
uh, piece here. You're not going to put targets on that. They'll fall off. They, you know, they could move around. Uh, and again, if it's really round, you really don't want to be putting targets on those because that can distort things and you could lose your accuracy. Uh, as long as this tape, uh, you know, doesn't move around, which, you know, we've taped it really well and it shouldn't as long as we don't touch it, we can use this to move back and forth. If a piece did, uh, you know, let's say get moved, we can go in the file, delete those targets and then reacquire them. So, but anyways, this is just kind of showing you doing a, a part like this um, that has some real uh, challenging shape to it and how we would do it. So taking a quick look at the scan data you can see here, you can see it looks really good. We were able to get all the way around the part, uh, even on this you know thin wire kind of rod here. Uh, as I mentioned, all this kind of rough stuff, that was all the foam on the frame that was kind of stuck to it. But if you look closely here where we wrap the, uh, the speed target tape around, you can see you don't see anywhere where the tape was put on. So that's the great thing if it is sitting on a surface uh, you really don't notice it. So uh, we were able to scan this, you know, pretty tricky shape with all these big openings by using traditional targets, using our turntable uh, and the speed target system to get a, a quick scan uh, of this uh, seat frame as you see here. Okay, just to wrap up this video, again, we were using various targeting methods to 3D scan something that's really got a weird shape, tubular shape with some, you know, some big openings. And again, we used a couple different types of creoform targets. We used uh, the little triangles, we used the rotary table, and we used this new uh, speed target system. Um, if you're interested in this system, we'll have some links uh, below. We've also got some other videos you can check out, uh, but hopefully you found this uh, informative and help you when you get into situations like this.